Hi, hello guys. Welcome to Architects Learnings. This is Vignesh Pandian. I am an architect, practicing architecture for last 5 years. Hoping this is enough for my introduction. So let's start. This is Grasshopper beginner tutorial. I am a beginner. I am learning Grasshopper and compiling my learnings as a video and publishing for everyone reference. Thank you for your support. In this video, we will cover two topics. What is algorithmic design? Introduction to Grasshopper. So let's start with algorithmic design. An algorithm is a set of instruction for solving a problem or accomplishing a task. In this, the algorithm is helping to solve a design problem. So it's called algorithmic design. In simple words, it is a step-by-step -step process to achieve a design in which we can change any step at any time. It gives us a great controlling power. So let's see with an example. Let's do a simple task in SketchUp and Grasshopper. Please understand we are not comparing both softwares. Both have their own merits when it's coming to modeling and designing. So let's start with SketchUp. Consider your professor is telling you to make a two circle on top of another. And then telling you to divide each circle into four parts. After that, connect each corresponding points with the lines. Once you are done, he is telling you to change the divisions into eight parts. So what to do? You have to change only, right? So you are deleting the lines then deleting the points again dividing each circle into 8 parts then connecting each corresponding points with the line yes it is taking time now what if he is telling you to divide into 16 parts I am just joking we are not going to do any that so let's do the same thing in grasshopper don't worry about it guys we are going to see these things in future videos now just think that we are going to do the same thing in grasshopper first i add two circle component then connecting the circle to divide component then adding number slider to define number of divisions After that, connecting the points with the line tool. Now, if you want to change the divisions, all you have to do is just change the number in number slider. Now you can see the magic. Hope you understand the difference and the power of algorithmic design. Now, let's see about grasshopper. Grasshopper is a plugin for Rhino developed by David Rutten at Robert McMillan Associates. It is initially called as Explicit History, then rebranded as Grasshopper in 2008. Nowadays, Rhino and Grasshopper linked with softwares like Revit and Archicad. It is helping designers for seamless process of design. Grasshopper is a visual programming language. When you use scripting for modeling, it will have two parts. One is editor, where you do the coding. The other one is 3D modeling environment. In this case, it is Rhino, where you see the 3D representation of your model. Hoping you liking my video guys. We will learn user interface of the grasshopper in our next video. Thank you for your support.